may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody out there has had a pleasant Saturday. We've had, to be honest with you, last since that incident on Saturday, last Saturday, the news has been off the charts, literally. It's like we had a week that everything focused on that, and then all of a sudden this other really bad stuff started coming up underneath it, just kind of like we thought would. Now, a lot of many people uh, wrote in and said that they felt a shift that day. and we, I think we all did. I know I did. And we started seeing things, and I knew then we didn't have much longer. The Holy Spirit is warning everybody. I mean, like I've never seen. That we're definitely in the last moments here. And the more I see with Israel, Israel's news has really picked up in the last couple of days. And we kind of, me and Shelly talked about that, that it probably would. If we was right on the timing that what God was giving us, that this stuff would start taking place, and boy, right on time, was it? It's all happening, people. Now they're still now they're saying they're GPS jamming now engaged in and around Israel. So we went in and looked, and they are Israel is engaging right now to try to shut down all missiles and drones headed from Yemen because Yemen's now to pretty much declared war on Israel after what they did. Now, it's okay for Yemen to do that, but Israel's not allowed to fight back. That's the rules in the Middle East and around the world. Israel can be hit, but they cannot fight back. Ain't that the way the devil works? Earlier today, the Israel Air Force launched heavy strikes against Yemen. Now, the uh, what the Yemen is clearly indicating that they're not deterred, and they will re uh, retaliate swiftly against Israel. Now, that's not the only news. Let's get into this one. Iran's other proxy militia in Iraq and Yemen threatened U.S., Israel, and Saudi Arabia, deepening their co uh, cooperation. Now, also news out tonight that Iran is looking to get into this fight with Yemen against Israel. Now, that's why we hear the emergency oxygen messages going off like crazy in there, and they've been doing it all day. And the doomsday planes over the United States, because the Middle East is about to go hot at any moment. Not even including the Actually, NATO just flew jets today into Ukraine airspace, headed towards, you know, Crimea and places. Uh, yeah. And once again, that news has been whoosh, shut off. Now, we know it's a fact because we can see the GPS jamming from Russia. So we know they went in, but our military, I mean, our media, nowhere to be found. So what we think is going to do, they're going to initiate to make this escalate faster before the election to go into all-out war to prevent the elections. I do believe that's what we're looking at. Iran-backed militias in Iraq and Yemen are trying to increase their cooperation to threaten Israel, as well as the U.S. positions across the Middle East, according to the Lebanese newspaper. Now, the recent opening of a branch office in Baghdad by the Yemen Houthis, those old Houthi and the Bluefish, is a prelude to increased actions against Israel and its backers which also include modern Arab states like Saudi Arabia. Now, they've been threatening Saudi Arabia, too. Saudi Arabia has seen a major support of Israel because of the uh, counter the Houthi blockade of the Red Sea shipping lanes by enabling goods to pass over land. That's really the only way they've been able to get anything going is through Saudi Arabia to get their food and stuff. And then land of Saudi Arabia and Jordan occupied Palestine. Sources from Iraq militia also told the newspaper that ongoing fighting between Israel and Hezbollah Iran's main proxy escalates into an all-out war. The militia should transfer fighters to southern Lebanon to aid Hezbollah. This is all happening within the last 24 hours. This is getting really hot, just like we thought it would. The resistance access does not recognize the borders of geographically that currently exist, a source added. 
There are certainly strategies that reinsist access that now require coordination between Iraq's resistance and the the uh, Mujahideen uh, brothers and army of Yemen against sensitive targets inside of Israel. Yemen sources confirmed to Al Akbar that there is a joint operation room between the resistance access, especially the Yemen forces, the Iraq resistance, and the Hezbollah of Lebanon. So once again, they're going to try to surround Israel. Get ready to fly, people. We're definitely here, just like God has been warning us. The sources also confirmed prior reports that close cooperation between Hezbollah and the Houthis that began long before the current war. Uh, the uh, escalation of terror and the deterrence of being imposed on an entity in preparation for a major battle with the enemy. So they're planning for an all-out war, which will include the participation of Yemen, Iraq, Hezbollah, and perhaps other parties on the Syrian side. The role played by the party in northern occupied Palestine and Israel is preparing for an open ground invasion of the NTS plan led by Hezbollah. So they're going to try to invade Israel like on October the 7th. Now God's been warning us about it. This is coming, but he's going to pull us and the world's going to be stunned. The Iraq militia and the Houthis have both taken an active role in the fighting. So now all of her enemies, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, are wanting to surround her and actually invade Israel as a nation that has nuclear weapons. So, people, it's getting interesting by the hour. That's why my emergency oxygen messages have not stopped in over a week. We've never seen this. Even New York Prepper's talking about it. They're on the highest alert we've, we've seen since I've been covering it and watching it. We've never seen it go this long. Every night, Doomsday planes, everything, command and control, they're all up in the air. They're also looking off the coast of Florida, also on the east coast up towards Boston and in California, looking for subs why America, as its population, is totally asleep and doesn't even know it's at their doorstep. Not a clue. All right. The whole Middle East sees the fire burning in Yemen. Israel strikes Houthis' targets after a deadly Tel Aviv drone attack. So you can actually see this blaze that far. That's how bad that is that they hit that fuel dump today. And I'm sitting here looking at pictures of it. It's crazy. Now, Israel's presence in Palestine territories is illegal. This has come out from the UN. We've been talking about this for two days. The United Nations top court declared Israel continued presence in the Palestinian territories illegal and urged the country to immediately cease all settlements, ev evacuate settlers, and issue repar uh, reparations in an adversary uh, opinion released Friday, which is absolutely hilarious. In a decision, the International Court of Justice, the ICJ, which is a total joke, determined that Israel is obligated to end its presence as rapidly as possible. In other words, they're going to threaten them with sanctions from all the other countries to try to literally bankrupt Israel. That's what they're going to try to do. ICGA uh, opinion delivered the, uh, by a panel of 15 judges from around the world, including one from the United States. Mm. Lacks enforcement measures, but it's likely to impact international politics, especially with increased scrutiny. Now, it may don't have the power to do anything, but these countries that these judges sit in can sanction Israel even more worse than it already is. That's why I tell you, most of these watchmen do not take into account that Israel's economy, they just think it's just going to keep on ticking and out of nowhere. I don't know where they get this from that we can go for two or three more years, which is insane and not going to happen because their economy would never survive it. And now they're almost surrounded again that these armies are trying to invade them. That is the plan. Still think we got a lot of time? Absolutely do not. Benjamin Netanyahu responded immediately with the statement rejecting the court's findings. The Jewish people are now occupiers of their own land, including uh, its internal capital, Jerusalem, nor in Judah or Samaria, our historical homeland. I see no absurd opinion in the Hague can deny the historical truth of the legal right of Israelis to live in their own communities and ancestral homes. Like I said, it's given to them by God, and God's about to come back and give it to them permanently. So the world's in a lot of trouble. Of course, the decision comes amid the 10 month conflict between Israel and Hamas. The court's ruling has prompted the U.N. Assembly to vote December 22nd, requesting its opinion 
which doesn't amount to anything. The court has 11 votes in favor and four against found by the state of Israel is under obligation to bring an end to this unlawful presence. You know, they don't sure don't do anything like that when it comes to uh, Ukraine and Russia, do they? It's also determined that Israel settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem and the regime associated with them have been established that are being maintained as a violation of international law. So once again, like God showed us in the Bible, the world would move against Israel. This is all this is. This is all Bible, Bible prophecy fulfilled in our very eyes. This is, this is it. When we see Israel surrounded, and now they're planning on going to war with them with four, four countries, and to actually make a invasion into Israel, that's their plan. And Israel and its uh, Iran and its new president, yet yeah, he's right now trying to prove himself as a great leader. So he's going to do some really big things, and that's why he's going to try to move and move a lot of stuff to try to prove to the world that he can defeat Israel. This is what he's going to try to do. And well, we're going to be gone, and a lot of these places will be destroyed. That's what's going to happen, because they're going to end up using the Samson option. That's what we're looking at right now, and I've told you and told you this is coming. Now, whatever this event is that God is telling us, it's very soon on our doorstep. It is so big that when the, it happens and the rapture happens during it, they won't even know we're gone. So that's pretty amazing that this event is that loud that where people don't see or hear. They will be completely blindsided. Now that is what the Lord is showing us, that during this live event, this huge loud event, we're gone. We will be leaving. So everybody that wants to see the election and everything, I don't think we're going to be seeing it. I don't think we're going to be seeing much of anything anymore because I think we're nearly hours away from being out of here. Israel surrounded, and they're talking about an invasion into Israel. Poland just sent flying jets into a no-go zone over Russia. Still think we got all the hours and the days and the years ahead of us? Absolutely not. God is warning the world what's about to happen, and that is the rapture of the church. Many will be blindsided by it. I've told you that for two and a half years. They won't see it coming. But it is coming. And if you're saved, you have nothing to worry about. It's time to go home. Thank God we're finally getting out of here. I mean, even some of the most skeptical people now, they know what we know. Just like Paul said, you'll know. You know, those that know Scripture knows where we are. They don't have a doubt. I know I don't. We are on our way out. And I can tell you that. I'm warning the ones that are lost. You're out of time. Wake up before it's too late, people. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Trust in Jesus, go to him, have it confirmed, people. We are in the last hours here. He's going to tell you the same thing he's been telling hundreds of thousands of people. And we're ready to go home. Now, the rest of the world, they want to sit here in the ash, that's up to them. But we're going home. We will not be here much longer. The world is going to very soon start to blow up at an alarming rate. It's already begun. We knew that after last Saturday, we felt a change in the spirit, an evil presence. That thing that happened last Saturday brought out evil like we've never seen, and it's taken over the world now, and it's not going to let go of it, and God ain't going to stop it. Man has a certain amount of time here, and it's over. We're going home, and tribulation is what's coming. No grand finale or uh, grand revival of the United States. What's coming is the tribulation. That is what's coming. No fixing everything. No great revival. The only revival is going to happen is in the tribulation when they realize they got left. They will run to the churches in mass begging God to come back and get them, but it ain't going to happen. So they will have to go through the tribulation and deal with all the evil that's going to be unleashed upon this earth. And from what the Bible says, when this happens, once we're gone and you're still here, an evil like the world has never seen will start to unleash upon this planet. Things that people thought was only in horror movies will come to pass. Those who made fun of God and thought this was funny will not be laughing anymore. 
they will have heart attacks and die from just the fear of knowing what's coming for them. That's what the Bible says. Those who have put him off and put him off and laughed at him, mocked at him, it will be a bad day for them. And we pray that they wake up before it's too late and don't be left here. Because this horror, this nightmare that I'm talking about, is any hour now. It's going to start. We won't be here. We're going to disappear very, very soon. Do not be left here, people. I'm telling you. Trust in the blood of Jesus while you can. That's all you got to do. This is not hard. It's, it's very simple. And truly believe what he did for you. He died on the cross for you. Trust in him. Believe in him. And you'll be sealed. And you will not have to be here through this horrible nightmare that's about to be unleashed at any hour now. Listen to me very clearly. Any hour now, it will start to be unleashed. It is on its way. All the signs point at it. He's warning everybody. We're literally going through so much data right now of how many people are being warned that this day, and they're all getting the same thing, this loud event. It's coming. He's warning his people as much as he can to be ready for this event. It's coming. I think Bob Barber and me both know what it is because we went through the data and we've searched through it. When we go up, the missiles come down. And that is what's coming. And people people are looking forward to that day in November, and they will never see it coming. See, that's why I'm saying people's going to be caught off guard. You can see it escalating. It's already happening. It only takes one match in the Middle East. And Israel sees those troops coming into their territory, and they will pull the Samson option. And they will level Iran and all of its proxies with nuclear weapons. That is what's coming, because they don't have a choice. They have none. They're not going to let them take that country. They will obliterate these other places. I don't know how I know that. The Bible. Israel never loses her land, so she will annihilate her opponents. That is what's coming. People just, they're, they're caught up in the world, and they don't follow up with their studying and their scripture, and they're going to miss it. And they're going to be literally in a, so many. It's just sad to look at this world right now as it is. You can scroll down your Facebook and everything else. You all know what I'm talking about. They're oblivious to what is on their doorstep. Oblivious. But see, Paul said, hey, we're in light. We see it coming. They do not because they're in darkness. And they won't see it coming. They chose the ways of the world. And we chose to get away from it. And that's how we know these events are coming because God has shown the ones who are awake that these horrible events, he's been warning for years, warning. But in the last couple of days, we've seen more warnings than anything we've ever seen ever since we've been doing this. Confirmation after confirmation, a great big event, a scary event, a loud event, over and over and over, pointing at the same disaster. That is coming upon this earth. It's coming, people. There's no stopping it. We are going home, which is good for us because I don't know about you, but I am sick of this place and ready to go home. Won't miss it at all. Won't even care. So, those that are excited about going home, get excited even more because every indicator we're seeing and every warning we're getting from the Lord Himself shows that we are just mere. Hours or days away from being raptured. That is what's coming. Don't even let anybody tell you any different. They can call us crazy nuts, but they'll see with their own eyes very, very soon. Thank you for all those who bought me coffees and ones who bought the super stickers on YouTube today. I wanted to get them thanks out to you. Thank you for that. Thank you for all that you do, your emails, your messages. If I suggest anything, like I said, if you're hearing anything we say and you want to have it, you question it, you go to Jesus and have it confirmed. Ask him what we're saying, and he'll show you. He's showing, I mean, our emails are off the charts of people. It's being, it's being confirmed every time they ask. He's giving them the same thing. He's coming, people. Bottom line, he's on his way. And we're going home, and we don't have to ever deal with this evil place like this again. Thank God. Can I get an amen? I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.
thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.